as we're driving down the road, we're passing these kilns, and I'm going to get some more video of it. But it's fascinating to me that the process, and it's probably been done this way for quite some time. Let's see if we can stop and get some video of how this is done. So these chimneys are spread all over the place in this region. I guess the soil is right. And we've got these guys out in this heat. This is what they're burning in the kiln. It's the wheat chaff, it looks like from all the surrounding fields that you've seen in some of the other videos and they use the chaff to fire the, the kiln. So I could be wrong but what it looks like happens yes, yes. they load the bricks into a trench yeah. the trench feeds through the chimney and throughout the bricks they put that chaff in which provides the heat and then it flows up through the, through the stack in the chimney. So, fascinating process so you can see through here they dig into the soil assemble the bricks allow them to dry pile them up and while they work here they also live they decided they'd go ahead and show me how it's done. Created quite a bit of attention. And so again, through all throughout here, there's homes, 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 homes. In the distance, there is the kiln. Yeah, same, same, same. Ah, it's like clay. See it? Yeah, clay. Good shape. Wonderful. Wonderful. Daniel. So they've also said that I can go in and take a look inside the home. And this is just what I can see really quick. Solar power inside the home. Cooking. Yeah, it's cooking. Firewood. Yeah. Yeah, oh, It's okay? Yes, yeah, okay, my friend. All the supplies? Yeah. Okay. So on this side, we have the bricks being made. In the far distance, you can see an old area that they were working in. Yeah. And then over in this area, they have the wheat growing where it looks like once upon a time the bricks were removed from this. There's Ravi. Say hello, Ravi. Okay. My driver. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
See this one? Yeah. He specifically wanted to show me this home. Solar power. Plastic roof. Cooking? Yeah, this cooking. Nice. This home. Hello. Okay. Roof. Hey, come on. You home? Ah, a child. 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 Ah, Looks like Easter. Mm. Very nice. Is the home? You have coke. You have home. <laughs> Hard work. Uh. <laughs> So what we didn't get on video in there was, as I was leaving, I uh, handed out I, maybe a couple thousand rupee. And my guide said, as, as I was leaving, they were yelling out, good man, good man. So hopefully a little bit of goodwill spread around. And I told them I appreciated them letting me look into their life. Sorry for the bouncing around. The, uh, as you can imagine, the roads can be a bit tough. There you can see those kilns on the horizon operating. Probably in that little community, Sporting. we spent uh, what we gave out probably 1,500 rupee, maybe a thousand rupee, and he says that money will get spread throughout everyone that was there. Yeah. Uh, the kids will get, everyone will get 10, 20 rupee a piece. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that will brighten their day some. I know that they brighten my day. It's completely yeah. appropriate for me to brighten their day some. What a treat! You know, when you see something like that, it really drives home the point of, I don't know if we want to call it spoiled in the United States, because 
what we have is absolutely earned the luxury we are all riding on the backs of giants that came before us that got us to the point where we are today and you think about our petty squabbles and the complaints that we have and though that living that those people are doing just puts in perspective how good we have it um, I hope you liked the video if you did I'd ask you to click like subscribe and uh, there will be more out there in the future teach a man to fish channel I hope you enjoyed it